In this coding module, we're going to build out our crypto card component. We're going to dynamically pass in some of this data using component props so that we can create a dynamic component to render this card data. So what we want to do is we want to create another component, search panel.jsx. And we're for now, we're going to create a read-only component, meaning we can move this markup into the search panel. So we're being we're using composition here. So we want to create a functional component, much like a JavaScript function. We're going to use arrow function. And we're going to create this. It'll expect it to return some JSX. You have to be mindful. You have to wrap this in a container fragment. We'll use React fragment here, and we'll paste in the markup for the panel. Always remember you need to export your components so that they can be imported or visible to the outside world. So we're going to export out the search panel. Now that we have this little functional component, we want to import it into our main crypto dashboard using an import statement. So we're going to type import. And if you type search panel and press tab, it'll auto complete for you. So we have the search panel component. Now we can remove this markup or comment it out for reference. And we should be able to put in our search panel fragment. And you'll see on the right side, it'll update when we add that fragment. So there we go. We have that markup now inside of a search panel component and we can remove the JSX. But next up, we want to create a component for the crypto card itself. We have a lot of crypto cards that we statically have added. So we would like to have this markup in that component uh, ideally data driven, but for now, let's just create a crypto card.jsx file. And we want to do the same thing. We want to create a functional component that returns some JSX, which will be this markup for the Bitcoin card. So we're going to create, we're going to use a constant keyword. We're going to create uppercase crypto card and we'll use an arrow function to do it. And then obviously it's going to expect some type of JSX to be returned. And we're going to wrap it again in a React fragment. Export default crypto card. Now we can bring in the markup for this Bitcoin card. And inside the fragment, we can reuse and apply it. Once we do that and we save it, it won't render yet because we need to import it into the crypto dashboard, similar to the search panel. So we're going to import in crypto card and press tab. And now we have that component that we can use in our JSX here for the crypto dashboard. So we're going to type crypto card fragment. We're going to close the tag. And you can see here when it updates that component is rendering all these static cards. So ideally, we want all of this data to be, to be data driven. We want to be able to pass this in somehow. Ideally, when we create an API, this is going to come as a form as a data list. So we're going to create a crypto coins array. Remember in ES6, those brackets indicate that we have an array structure. So we have some, me some mechanism to create a list. And we're going to comment this out here because we also need uh, a container for our data because we, we need to create a complex type. So in order to create a complex type, we can use a JavaScript object. And a very easy way to create a JavaScript object is with the braces, an object literal tag, which is key value paired object for our coin. Data structure here, and we can see we have a name, we have a price, we have a market cap, a volume, and a change, as well as um, an image source or an icon. We'll put in keys for volume, for change, as well as the image source or the icon. We will add in the icon, which will be the CoinGecko URL. We're just building out the structure of this crypto coin object. And eventually we need, we would like to go back and backfill all this static markup into a list of crypto coin objects. So we can go ahead and backfill. Now that we have a nice little structure for our data, we can go and backfill these, these data points. Remember, they don't really matter because they're test data. 
the coin gecko URL and put that into the icon. And now we have a nice little complex type for crypto coins. We have the object. We don't need this markup anymore. We're going to work with one item and try to pass this one item into our component, pass in this data construct. So we're going to also use this data construct, this contract we created. We're just going to comment this out. So we have a reference point because this is the props, the, the actual object data we would like to pass in to the component. How we do this is via props. That's how React passes data into components. So the props object is also key value pair, and you need to wrap everything in JSX as an expression if you want to evaluate the body. So we need an open brace and a closed brace. And then the props object has all these key value pairs. So we can say props.name, props.price, props.market cap, and so on. So that we are passing in the data from the outside. So we need to update this JSX for that. But if we're dealing with a small data set in JSX, using props is, is all right. Um, you can use something called destructuring if you wanted to, but for the most part, we have a pretty small fragment here. We have to remember to update also the alt tag. So that's dynamic. So it's not statically um, configured to Bitcoin for every single data point we have. So props.name. And then we're gonna be getting that source from the props as well. So open brace, close brace, props dot icon. And now our component is ready to, to render this data. It's going to re render only the data that it's given. So if you notice when we render it, it has a broken image and there's no data being passed in. So we need to go back to the crypto dashboard now and we need to pass in this data. So like I said before, we have a crypto coins object list but we wanna grab the first object. So how we do this, we're gonna create a constant for Bitcoin. We're gonna grab that crypto coin list. It's an array structure, so it's index based. So we can do square bracket zero and that will give us the actual object itself. And what's really neat about how React works is we can actually use the spread operator here. So we can use the three dots and pass all of this in via the spread operator, open brace, close brace, dot, 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 Bitcoin. That'll spread out all of those data points into the props object. So you can see now all of those data points that we have in that Bitcoin object. And this is a really good start because now you can see that we have a component that just renders the data. And all this markup that we statically created, now all the static data can be created inside of this crypto coins. We can create a bigger list. I went through and I added all of this. I took some time. Again, you don't need to do this. You can pick three coins. I, I went through each piece of that static markup and pulled out the names and the right icons. You could just grab three or four if you want. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to do this, but I have a bigger list now. So I have a list maybe of 10 coins. So now, I can get rid of all this markup. This markup is not necessary anymore because that's the static markup. We can remove all this now and we can program programmatically generate this based on the data set that we have. So it's dynamically being created. So we're going to clean all this up. Now that this is all cleaned up, we don't just want to render one, one object or one cart. So we don't need this anymore. We have a full list now of 10, 10 coins. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to iterate over all that data and then for each current item, spread it out into the crypto card. So how you do this in JSX for React, you can't use a for loop. You can do open, close, brace, reference the array or the list, and you can use the map function. React plays nicely with the map mapping function. So you'll see crypto coins is our list, our array, dot map. And then we can use our our arrow function here for the current item. So it iterates through every item. So the current item will be set in the crypto coin, put in our crypto card markup for the component and spread out all the properties of each current item, which is called the current crypto coin. We need to use a return statement here because the mapping always returns a new array. So we have mapped through and created a new array of crypto cards that have all the properties and it's very dynamic. Now we have a list of data. And if we add or remove 
items from this. We're simulating data coming from a backend or an API, and our UI is rendering it. So we have a nice dashboard. Components, working with components, passing data in via props. It's very dynamic, and it's a good start.